What's up? So it's another one of those days where I was working all day, now it's raining outside, and uh, well, welcome to my hallway. So we had, oh gosh, we had a full weekend. So Danielle's parents were here, Craig and Donna, we had a great time. We did, uh, well, it was Thanksgiving weekend, so we had the parade on Thanksgiving Day, then we went and had dinner at a place called Carmine's. My mom was also with us on Thanksgiving Day, so I'm glad that she got to hang out with us and we had a really good time. Went to the Radio City Music Hall Christmas Spectacular, which I didn't get to film because it's against the rules. But I think it's on Netflix, so you can watch it there. Then she went back home to Long Island and we did, you know, the, the typical tour, taking her parents around New York City, showing them all the stuff we like, all the restaurants that we like, all the places that you get pizza and cheesecake and all the New York stuff. So we did all that. Gave them a tour of Bushwick, showed them the art, the street art. We had brunch on Sunday. It was a great time. They went home. Uh, we've been kind of uh, catching up on work and just resting and getting back into the groove of things. And tomorrow, tomorrow is our wedding anniversary. We have been married for seven years, seven years. We got married in 2011 and it is 2018, so that's, that's seven years. And this year by far has been the best. We moved to New York, we did some weddings in Europe, we went to Paris, we went to Italy. We're going to the Dominican Republic in two weeks, which is gonna be really exciting for another wedding. And it just, just keeps getting better. I'm loving this. It's always been a dream of ours and especially of Danielle to live in New York City. And so getting to live here to see our dreams come true, essentially, is, I mean, you really kind of have to step back and think about it sometimes and just think like, this is really happening. This is actually happening. We're actually living in New York City. We're getting to do the things that we love. We get to do the things that we love and actually get paid for them. We're starting a church. We have all this stuff going on. It's so exciting. So much is happening. And, uh, and I just want to say that I'm super thankful for all the things that have happened this year, for everybody that's helped us along the way, for friends, family, everybody that supported us, whether it be through the church, whether it be through our business, just thank you. I mean, we love you guys so much. We know that you believe in us and we, we cannot take that for granted. We cannot take it for granted that we have so many people that are rooting for us, that are behind us. And, and it's easy sometimes to look at the, you know, quote, haters, look at the people that are negative about stuff, that are rude about stuff, that, that are really just unhappy people, that are unhappy with their own lives and so they want to take it out on other people, but I don't want to focus on that stuff. Whenever, and this is a little bit, just a little bit of advice and something that's helped us maintain our sanity whenever it comes to dealing with situations like that is just brush it off. Because if somebody is so upset and focused on you and blaming you for why they are unhappy in their life first of all it's not your fault that they're unhappy and second of all they have a much bigger problem than they even realize and you don't need to allow their issues their insecurity their fear all their junk that's causing them to be unhappy people don't allow that to steal your happiness steal your joy and cause you to, to not be thankful for the great things in your life because you do have great things in your life and whenever you focus on the good things in your life and not the negative things, whenever you focus on the things that you have that you've been blessed with that God has given you and not on the things that you don't have that you maybe don't even need, you're gonna be much happier. You're gonna find joy, you're gonna find peace and you're, you're just gonna be a pleasant person to be around. People are gonna gravitate towards that happiness and that joy and that just pleasant demeanor. And that's something that we are choosing to do because we do have some junk that comes at us all the time from different people and situations and different things and just let it roll off your back. You know, don't don't take it so seriously. Don't don't let it get to you. So it's nothing nothing really elaborate or crazy or special about today. Just a little bit of encouragement. Um, I guess today is like Cyber Monday or whatever, so I know a lot of people are like online and shopping and things like that, but just just take a break and be thankful and just be thankful for what you have and thankful for your family and and you know we've I mean, we've experienced a lot of loss this year. Like we lost my brother this year and my parents split up and all of this stuff happened, which I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a video soon to discuss that, which is a totally different situation. But still in the middle of all of that, dealing with all of those things. I'm choosing to be happy, I'm choosing joy, and I'm choosing to rely on the fact that I know God loves me even when bad stuff happens. Because bad things don't happen because of God. Bad things happen because 
people are bad because sin is a thing because people have free will to choose to not do the right thing and they're just jerks sometimes and that's why bad stuff happens and instead of choosing to be upset about my circumstances or blame all the bad things on someone or something or any of that kind of stuff like I'm just choosing to ignore it because bad stuff's gonna happen and I'm just gonna move on I'm just gonna get past it I'm gonna focus on the good things that God has given me, that he's going to give me, and that he's leading me to. Because God has a purpose for my life, he has a purpose for your life, he has a specific thing that he is calling you to. Something that he is calling you to be, someone he's calling you to be, someone he created you to be. And whenever you let all that stuff that's around you cloud your, your mind and cloud your thoughts and cloud your vision, it's gonna get in the way of that. So don't let it Get to you. Don't let the haters get to you. Don't let the garbage get to you. Don't let the bad stuff get to you. Focus on the good stuff. Focus on you. Be the best you you can be. Influence what's around you. Make that the best that it can be. And don't focus on the junk. You're gonna be you're gonna be a lot happier for it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is our anniversary, so you'll see. Just watch tomorrow. See you guys later.